Dump truck barrels through red lights on a reckless route to a dangerous encounter at Pittsburgh's FBI building. Tonight, there's new information on the man charged with crashing the FBI's gates. Police say he claimed to have a bomb, though none was found, and there's nothing to indicate this may have been terrorism. It started when police saw a dump truck run a red light near South 22nd Street. Police say they pursued the truck through eight or nine red lights to the gates at the FBI building just off South 33rd Street. Lynn Hayes Freeland joins us live with more. Lynn. Ken, that dump truck that Thomas Richard Ross was driving earlier today is still in the same place it was in earlier this morning when it landed inside the security gate here at FBI headquarters on the south side. In fact, just a few minutes ago, investigators were looking at that truck again. They were wearing protective gear while they did that. But tonight, Thomas Richard Ross is in the Allegheny County Jail, but he didn't get there without a fight. After he slammed his truck into the security gate here, he went to the hospital, and then he tried to run from police again. Now, investigators want to know what prompted all of this. Hours after the incident, a wrecked Chevy dump truck sat inside the security gate at the FBI's South Side headquarters. Officials were searching for explosives and other evidence. But why the truck was here in the first place might be a bigger mystery. This individual, he was uh, driving erratically, passed through a couple of red lights, uh, passed a couple of stop signs. Police say the person driving was 48 year old Thomas Richard Ross of New Waterford, Ohio. And they say he almost hit a police officer on East Carson Street before gunning the truck and driving right into the security gate. I heard them say stop. I mean, they were like pointing their guns. I heard them saying stop, get out the car, and he just kept going. And that's when the truck ended up here, brought to a halt by an anti terrorist security barrier. Well, he was actually injured in the uh, collision. So he was transported to a local hospital. Authorities did call in the bomb squad after Ross told them there were explosives on the truck. But all they found in the back was an extension cord. They don't believe this was an act of terrorism, but right now they don't know what his motive was. Had a bomb gone off, you know, this gas station 20 feet away, everybody's going up in flames. Investigators have been looking at that truck and the entire scene all afternoon. And Ross is in the Allegheny County Jail. He's expected to be arraigned later this evening on charges of aggravated assault, reckless endangerment of another person, and fleeing and eluding. Reporting live from the South Side, I'm Lynn Hayes Freeland, KDKA.